Welcome back to another ship choices and this time round back to the business malarkey but the Argo Mole. Now I've just realized that uh well just remembered not realized but uh so I don't actually own the Prospector or the Argo Mole. I used to but both the ships are loners because <laughs> yet again I'm waiting for a particular ship that I upgraded to which was the RSI Ar I can't even pronounce it, Arastra God knows when that's going to come but that ship is going to be um, basically it's a bit of everything because it's got a refinery on it this one doesn't so as you see actually before I just got carried away slide down here no get down so you basically arrive by lift that's the only way in and out of this ship then you've got over side two doors and they lead to the other mining heads lasers that come out of the side same with this one but what I've done on this ship is not using the stock lasers I've actually quite swapped things over I forgot on the other side here you've got a door for a suit and then you get into your thing out there and you'll go out there and into into space or if you try it on a planet and it looks like this is going to be the is pretty much the area for components jump drive and then we take the elevator no we don't I'm already up I'm really not thinking about this am I anyway so we take the lad ladders up and then you go to this door to your left and you get that the missile I suppose more components table chairs food and stuff and the back behind you it basically is you know, a bunch of suits like that with a shower and uh, toilet not really what's a bit of it I just realized that's how bad is that it's in the bedroom with like see-through glass someone's gonna watch you take a dump or is it gonna like or is there some sort of is it gonna be like a frosty glass Yeah, I was going to watch you take. Yeah, so I'm not going to watch you take a dump. Anyway, bunk beds, and then basically we've got the corridor down here. I'm guessing this is where when you're mining things. This goes down to the center la air laser, which I'll be doing shortly. And then in here, the cockpit, co-pilot, and the pilot seat. So pretty much basic, but this can hold a lot more than what the Prospector can. This has eight. Oh yeah, look, I've just realised they're taking away. Yeah, so it's down to eight bags now. They used to have like a thing above that, so they have changed it. But when you take them off, now I like as I said, I do have a soft spot for the Argo, as it's just got the whole industrial side to it. Okay, so the thing about this ship, you could you can use it on your own, but it takes a long time because you're going to be going up and down to the lasers, depending on the rock, because you're going to make sure you've got it aimed right. Um, it, it definitely not easy for um, planets. And the problem with planets is is if you're on your own, if you've got no pilot. And you're trying to do the lasers and you're hovering there's a possible chance that the wind is just going to basically push you around um so oh, close that door there then. it's the only time so that it's not got no over airlocks it's just those <laughs> just that lift um yeah so the, the issue you're going to have with this if you're on your own and you're hovering over a planet and the wind goes there's you in your seat trying to mine a uh an astral, well, a rock on the planet it just is more likely going to move and the problem is even if you land you've got to try and get into it it's so finicky you're going to have to try and get in a good spot in order to actually mine a rock on the planet due to the fact that um see where the ladies where the lasers are they're all below and when you've got the landing gear out, it doesn't really give you much room, uh, you know, height against a rock if you're ne next to it. You would need to be sort of elevated up on something and aiming down. 
let alone trying to be at the right distance with the, with the for the lasers to actually achieve anything. I always move around thinking it actually achieves achieves something, like if there's a sore spot or something. I mean, probably just doing it anyway on his own, but I'm always moving it around thinking it might make a difference. But my best approach here right now is to get into the green. Then we just keep on doing power like this into it. One thing I have messed up with, although actually no, to be fair, the angle I'm not too bad, as long as it doesn't fly right out of my range from the up and down. Left and right's not too bad, but you've got so much distance between the up and down. And depending how much you've got to split these rocks by. So here we go, we've got, what have we got on here? That to collect, I believe it is. 100%. Extraction mode on. Extraction mode on. Hundred percent copper. I notice the HUD seems to be really zoomed in. That's inert material, so you don't want that. Inert material is a waste of space, so don't do it. Hmm. I don't think I can just scoop that up because that's still showing one color. If it's showing like yellow around the edge, that means you still got to break it apart. So if I did that, I don't think I'm collecting, am I? Because the colours have been conflicted. There we go. You might find when you've broken a rock apart that the extra pe other pieces are going to be very much uh, a lot more weaker. This is me using just standard lasers, no other fancy tools. The rest of this was all 100% copper according to that thing, so we're going to collect it. Right, what are you? More copper ore. What about you? Yeah, so if there's a purple purple edge around the uh, around the rock, it's ready for extraction. It's just, see, I'm, I'm not even going to bother with this rock. It's got like 26 point, unless I can, unless those pieces are on their own. Oh, see that? It's because it's all been there in a bit. So the idea with this is just doing what I'm doing right now. Just fire a bit of the laser into it. I have to overcharge it, just fire a little bit. Whoa. Not like that. That was bad. I probably just lost the best bit out of that. Normally, if it goes wrong, you normally will lose some decent pieces. Yeah, there's only 18% of copper in that. It's not even point. It's pointless. And that's just in it as well. So no, we don't want that. Uh oh. Well, I believe that might be just security at least, because security had the double name. Right, so, yeah, that's not a bad, bad, bad working ship. There you go, you can see how, where I'm working from. you got security everywhere going on, I think. Oh, no, that doesn't look good. There seems to be a lot of them. I might want to get out of here. Um, 
So again, I think for this ship, for my your mining needs. Now I just I'm gonna put it in the just fine. And the reason is I would have put it in the top tier list. Uh, in the top choice. But because you've only got really one way in and one and that is it. Now one way in and out by that lift. You've got no airlock, so you're gonna struggle with that. Again, this is better with a multiple of you, so if you've got a crew that wants to help out, then that's great. Oh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm not stopping you from, you know, it's not bad, you can still do it on your own right now, but I don't know if that's going to change. Anything can happen in the world of Star Citizen. 